have our first ever guest on the show. Mm-hmm. Let's introduce to the people them who's on the show. Okay, guys. We have Stormy Patron in the building. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, guys, like, oh, I got oh. a new dog. She's a puppy and she's in the studio today. Um because yeah i'm just attached to her yeah it's like bring um your child to work day today. literally and she's been getting so much attention everyone Aww. in the studio loves her and like she's already got a new job and, and I'm, she's like, already sleeping on the job look at her guys if you're watching this on the youtube i recommend you guys too you guys will see how cute stormy looks literally. she's a french bulldog and honestly i'm also in love same how do you feel now being a dog mom i just feel like so fulfilled like it's so crazy like how much i didn't think i could love an animal this much what made you decide to get a dog then oh baby if you want to say you influence me just say that so basically guys i influenced adriella patron to get a french bulldog it's just the crazy same. because basically yeah when mads will talk about her dog it would be so baffling to me because i'm like <laughs> it is an animal it is a dog like we would be out and let's say she's left her dog at home she'll be like her dog is called Mimi by the way she'll be like oh my god I really hope Mimi's okay I'm gonna go back and check in on her and then I'm gonna come back out and I'll be looking at her like you're gonna drive all that way to check on a dog yeah and then come back out because babe that's a bit much yeah even do you remember Cornwall like we were just talking about our dogs and you, like we, I was talking about my dog more than I was talking about my boyfriend and I remember yeah. you saying that like you've talked about your, your dog, dog more than your yeah. man and I'm like wow you just get so attached to I was just animals. like how can you talk about it this much but I get it yes I get it because even now I feel like I haven't got more to me like when people want to talk to me I feel like I have nothing else to say can we get a zoom in on um Stormy for people watching yeah live. let's get a little zoom she guys she sleeps look- like a little princess oh <laughs> We're proper broody look at her but let's just talk about what's got us pressed because you know what gets me pressed okay let's if go. we're like talking about dogs okay so basically guys i feel like at the moment when we see things a lot of people just jump on the trend okay. and not actually do things with the full intention and understanding the responsibility of certain things okay. so for me i'm really passionate about once you get a dog it's not just getting a dog and that's it for the it's trend like their lifetime yeah. commitment and i get i find it really I get so pressed when people get dogs, get rid of dogs, get mm-hmm. dogs, get rid of dog, get dog, get rid of dog. It's like, it's not an accessory. It's not something you can just get and then get rid of if you can't do it. It's, mm-hmm. it's a hard thing. Yeah. And I feel like as an advocate... <laughs> <laughs> for dogs. For dogs, I'm joking, guys. But as someone that actually really loves dogs, I just find it crazy. And it actually presses me when I see people that can just treat them like they're an accessory and just get rid of them i think it's deep they have feelings you know yeah no it's really mad like before i even had the dog yeah like i would see um this girl i went to school with she had a dog and she got (laughs) 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 she had a dog right and it was a very cute dog and i was like oh wow she's got a dog i was even quite surprised she got a dog because she didn't seem like someone that could you know maintain a dog but i feel like people will probably seem feel the same about me i'm not gonna lie cause really why you're very organized you're put like, I, feel like I see that you're put together you have your routine you know your routine do you know what i mean oh thank you i feel babe. like you're a bit hectic and you're all over the place and we're not traveling as much so True. yeah so she got this dog and i was like wow this is such a cute dog i was really interested to see the journey of her and the dog and then I think I just didn't see the dog anymore. And I just thought, you know, like sometimes you just think, okay, maybe it's not everything you post. She probably just doesn't yeah, have the time dog. Do you know what I mean? Get to know the dog on its own. And then like, she just got rid of the dog and she never said anything. And I think someone must have asked her about the dog. And I think like her followers kept on asking about the dog. And then I think she got a bit annoyed because people kept on asking about the dog. Anyway, she found out that her building couldn't keep she wasn't allowed a dog in her building which is fair enough because you know like sometimes you forget you're actually renting somewhere and you just forget you need to ask these questions and you just assume and then anyway cut the long story short she got another dog and that dog was the same dog that she got the first time and it was just like wow okay maybe you're allowed dogs in this one what do you think happened babe she kept the dog no babe she got rid of that dog oh, like, wow. well let me not say she got rid of that dog but she had to get rid of that dog for some oh. reason but then she's just got another dog and then anyway it's just like when you keep getting the same dog over and over again for no specific reason <gasps> it's like 
babe, maybe you're just not a dog person. Like, yeah. Like, and that's you know fine. Not for everyone. Because you know, some people get a dog first of all, and then they get rid of the dog and they get a cat because then they realize, oh, do you know what? Dogs, dogs are not aren't, for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. And you accept it. But I think getting a dog three times and then it's, getting a dog yeah. after that, maybe just accept, accept it's it. not for you. And one thing I don't get is that, you know, you can always ask someone if you're, I always think if you guys are thinking of getting a dog or a pet, they're such good companions anyway, especially mm-hmm. when you live by yourself. Yeah. They're very comforting. If you know someone that has a dog, doesn't matter what breed it is, you need to actually get used to the responsibility of having mm-hmm. a dog. And I think people forget about the responsibility. Something as simple as, first of all, knowing your building allows dogs, mm-hmm. knowing how needy they are. Dogs yeah. are very needy. It's very. actually like having a baby. BBC Sounds. Music, radio, podcasts.